Hello Cancer, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, and what's going to happen next. As always, this is a general love reading Cancer and it will not resonate with every single Cancer watching. So if this isn't your reading, don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Cancer. I'll have it pinned in the comments. Um, there's also like cards um, in the video that can link you to the playlist as well. Uh, this reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind, okay? So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Cancer, please. Just Cancer need to know regarding their connection. Okay, we got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, and then I have this brand new deck that I've really been enjoying, the Kipper deck. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box below this video, as well as all of the rings that I'm wearing, and also information about my website, my shop, my book. Everything you want to know is in the description box. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this connection between Cancer and the person they are thinking about or in a connection with at this time. What can you tell me about this connection for Cancer? April 20. Oh, we got number eight, false person. This could be somebody that is hiding their true feelings or it could be somebody surrounding your connection that is a false person, maybe um, someone you can't quite trust. Message of concern, number 14. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have thoughts, number 16. So what I'm getting here is um, there's probably something that you have found out recently or will be finding out. Um, and I feel like it's probably going to shake the trust that you have in someone maybe you were attracted to a specific person or attracted to something or vice versa and maybe there's something a little bit i don't know shady there or or, or hidden um so we will see um when i dive into your energies here so cancer i have one deck for your energy one for your person feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you all right, Spirit, tell me more about Cancer. Let's see, what are your energies in this connection at this time, Cancer? Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, Spirit. This is the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Tell me about Cancer, please. I need to know about Cancer. The sign of Cancer. What are they thinking of me? Okay, we got Judgment Reverse and the Two of Swords Reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Give me some more insight into the energy for Cancer in this connection. Can you tell me about Cancer? Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight here and then we'll start clarifying. Oh, okay. Happy ending, abundance, joy, fulfillment. You have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment. This is like my Ten of Cups card. What's at the bottom of the deck? Just, ooh, tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation. Some of you could be um, trapped in a uh, long-term commitment or your person is. Um, and others of you, I feel like, again, I feel like something was good at first. Maybe had a lot of potential, but there's something off about that. Let's see. Can I get one more? And I feel like you are uh, realizing this or will be realizing this through either something you find out, like a message online or a conversation that you have. Let's see. And if you're not finding this out, this could be your person as well. Tell me more about Cancer, please. Deer, this is kind of like the Queen of Cups. So with the Ten of Cups and the Deer, there's a lot of emotions here. Um, uh, and I feel like a lot of love, or at least um, 
there's a lot of feelings involved here. Bottom of the deck, I have the fish. So I feel like there's some sort of, um, the fish is almost like feeling a bit lost, like you're not sure which direction to go in. Going with the flow a little bit too much. So we'll see because I feel like there has been either some sort of departure here with the Eight of Cups, uh, either in the past or now or in, in the near future, or this is something you're considering. Let's see how this is all going to connect here. Tell me about Judgment Reverse. Why is Judgment Reverse here? The Chariot. Well, there you are, Cancer, showing up to your own reading. Another card about kind of like movement. I feel like you want to move past something here. Let's see. Maybe you want to visit someone um, or just want to, like you're ready for something new, a new path here. Tell me about Judgment Reverse. Why is it? Two of Cups Reverse. Yeah, there's something, hap something happened here in a partnership. With the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups Reverse, and the Chariot, I feel like someone moved on from a partnership or is considering moving on from a par partnership here. Can I get one more for Judgment Reverse? Ten of Pentacles Reverse, yeah. I feel like cancer, at least I, I, in, in your end here, um, something happened. Yeah, have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're wanting a new opportunity, something else here, because you've you've probably had some sort of realization and you made a difficult decision with the Two of Swords reverse. Oh, I got the Three of Cups wanted to fall out there. Could be a third person involved. This could also be um, a divorce or breakup here for sure. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. What's this Two of Swords reverse about? Four of Swords reverse. What's this Two of Swords reverse about? This could have been a decision that took you a long time to make. Maybe you were thinking about it for a long time. Let's see. Oh, I got two. Six of Swords Reverse and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So definitely, I feel like you are taking some sort of action here. Um, something wasn't successful. Uh, maybe you weren't appreciated here with the Six of Wands Reverse. I want to get one more with this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? I feel like you want something, you're attracted to something. Three of Cups, hmm. Can I get one more? The Three of Cups shows up again. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. Can I get one more about the Three of Wands? Queen of Wands. <laughs> King of Cups. So this is based off of emotion. You probably, uh, Cancer, are interested in someone, but I feel like uh, there's a group of three here. This could be um, someone that you're attracted to. Could be somebody you know through friends, through coworkers. There could be some sort of interference here. Very interesting energy. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's there's multiple people here. Mm, the magician reverse. I don't think this is something okay. I feel like you've wanted something and it hasn't happened, Cancer. Some of you are wondering if you should move on or are waiting on someone else here, most likely. There is, um, there's something off here. I'm telling you with the Six of Wands reverse and the Magician reverse, it's like something is not happening here, not successful. I feel like you're motivated, attracted, possibly in love. 
Um, but I, I honestly am feeling that there's something else here in the way. And um, I feel like, um, I don't know, it's been kind of stop and go, stop and go. There's some sort of important decision that you've, you've needed to make. You or this other person. Maybe there's a decision between two. But something's off there with the magician reverse. So let's look at your person. Let's see what's going on with them. Spirit, tell me about the person that Cancer is in a connection with at this time. Or thinking about at this time. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Wedding bells, marriage commitment union. Hmm. Why is it that Cancer's and Gemini's always get these types of readings? Divine timing at the bottom of the deck. I am really hoping this person isn't already married, but the way that these readings have been happening lately, it would not surprise me, Cancer. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Cancer is in a connection with or thinking about at this time, Spirit. Stingray. So your person needs courage for something. Maybe they are falling, like uh, not falling, uh, giving into pressure here. With the stingray is about kind of needing a spine, uh, facing the music, um, and it has something to do with marriage or commitment. Whether that's with you or regarding something else, it'll be different for all of you. But I don't know. Um, I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I don't know if you were in a marriage with this person or if this person already had some something else going on because I feel like a lot of you are dealing with another person here. Does not have to be a partner, could be a family, uh, a family member. Let's see. Spirit, tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. So we can get here. Tell me more about this person. Three of Wands. So they're waiting for something. Or keeping someone waiting. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse. This person has been waiting a long time to do something or has kept someone else waiting in order to do something. I have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this could be some sort of a departure, a visit. Um, but this is a card about leaving. Same as that Eight of Cups that came up for you. Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Wands. I'm using the Cosmic Slumber Tarot here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands about? The Lovers Reverse, Gemini Energy. Tell me about the Three of Wands, please. Eight of Cups again, yeah. It's almost like waiting to leave a, a partnership or left a partnership and kept someone waiting in suspense tell me more about this three of wands please there's three of wands here knight of wands i feel like you're either marrying each other or you're thinking about this person's actions you know because this is reminding me of kind of the energy that you had over here with the chariot the eight of cups we have the eight of cups again here the six of swords showed up now i have the knight of wands so it's almost like this person wants to move quickly is attracted to something 
in and out energy not very commit like not very um the knight of wands they like to have a good time very charismatic um you know very passionate they like to kind of just jump into things and sometimes it gets them in trouble um six of pentacles reverse knight of pentacles reverse eight of pentacles interesting this six of pentacles reverse is reminding me of that six of wands reverse there's something off balance here something that isn't really successful it's kind of what i'm picking up but especially with the knight of pentacles reverse um this could be financial your person could be needing to you know uh resolve something financially um maybe they need money or they need to work on something here with the eight of pentacles to bring a situation back into balance but i feel like this is someone that's been waiting and waiting to leave a situation to make a move of some sort and this could be after a separation or regarding a separation here with the lovers reverse tell me about the seven of pentacles reverse why is the seven of pentacles reverse Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Page of Pentacles reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Wanting a lucky break, hoping for a lucky break here. Wanting to move things forward or progress, move things along. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Because something isn't working out here. Knight of Wands. Page of Wands, sorry. It looks very similar to the Knight of Wands. So this Wheel of Fortune is going to help this person make some sort of move here with uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. Because right now they're not able to get something going here. A new beginning isn't able to start. There's some sort of bad investment or something that your person might be thinking was a waste of time or waste of energy or like maybe they, they invested in the wrong thing here. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups reverse, and then the tower at the bottom of the deck. Wow. The tower, the Wheel of Fortune. This is big energy. Um, uh, I feel like this is something to do with um, some sort of disappointment here. Uh, maybe a tower is emotionally difficult for your person, heartbreaking, disappointing. Um, this is something sudden, unexpected, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel like there's going to be some something here that your person, um, I feel like they're, they, they've, need, they've been waiting because they may not have the courage to act here. Uh, I feel like they know something's not right when it comes to you, when it comes to their life. And... I think the wheel is here is an opportunity presenting itself to your person and they'll have to jump on it and quickly with the knight of wands page of wands tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling i'm going to use my secret moon oracle deck here i'm taking a risk it's all my fault and i have a choice to make yeah definitely so this person, um, that's why kind of like the, the courage is needed. Whatever they're doing here, um, is a, if, 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 if they're causing a tower, then yes, they're going to possibly be needing to take a huge risk here and whatever choice they're deciding. I think the choice will be, will I jump on this opportunity? Okay, let's see. Where is all of this headed in the near future? What's next, Spirit, for Cancer and this other person? What's next for this connection? What's next? What's next? I'm going to pick a couple of cards. 
What's next? What's happening next for Cancer? And this other person, what's happening next for Cancer? Justice, wow, beautiful. Libra energy. Rebalancing justice, fairness. What's next? Maybe even a legal situation for some of you. In your favor, Ace of Swords reverse. Hmm. These are two like opposite side, like cards. What's next? What's next for Cancer? Five of Cups reverse, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of a recovery here. The Magician reverse. There's someone here you can't trust or something off with someone. I feel like there's something that may, might be delayed as well. If it's not a person that you can't trust around you, um, there's something that is um, delayed and happening here and, and being manifested. But I feel like with the Five of Cups reverse and justice, there's something that's going to be made right again. Some of you need to watch out for whoever this is that's a false person. They might even be using deception to their advantage here. And for others of you, I feel like your person is taking a, a big risk in trying to, I feel, restore balance here. Go after something that they want, that they desire. But I feel like them going after something here with the Wheel of Fortune, for some reason, it, it, that tower is going to be difficult. So it's going to be difficult for at least someone. Uh, if you enjoy these readings, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know if this resonated for you because I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care